Today's hearing took place over five hours, and what we heard here in the federal courthouse included testimony from a Pyrex plant employee as well as an economist, but mostly we heard arguments by attorneys over whether the closure of that plant creates irreparable damage. In court, the attorney general's office told federal court judge Nicholas Ronjon that the Commonwealth needs more time to determine the impact of a merger between Pyrex and Anchor Hawking and whether it could create a monopoly. They're asking he halt the merger while they investigate. The AG's office told the judge Anchor Hawking is Pyrex's biggest glass bakeware competitor. They pointed to Pyrex's more than 100-year-old history in Charleroi and its employees who will be out of work if the plant moves its production to the Anchor Hawking facility in Ohio. They also say only 150 openings exist in Ohio and that employees have to apply if they want to be considered. Attorneys for the private equity firm merging Pyrex and Anchor Hawking give different numbers when it comes to jobs. They told Judge Ron John that there were 220 jobs in the Pyrex plant in Charleroi and that each employee was offered a position at the plant in Ohio. They argued that they acquired Pyrex in March when the company was in bankruptcy and they claim no one else wanted it. They're asking the judge to allow them to move forward with disassembling the Charleroi plant so they can move production into the Ohio plant where they say they will produce both Pyrex and Anchor Hawking. Judge Ronjon had previously issued a temporary restraining order pausing the merger. That expires just after 5 Thursday. He says he will issue his ruling in this case before then. Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.